this story begins on Christmas Eve. You sure you don't want to do the other one? It's a lot more... Oh, all right. Anyway, in this house lived a bright young girl named Clara and her little brother Fritz. Thrilling so far, isn't it? I want to watch Mommy trim in the Easter Bunny. Fritz, it's Christmas. Easter's a completely different time of year, okay? Mother's trimming the Christmas tree, you got it? Sheesh. Why she got to trim it? Is it too shaggy or something? <gasps> All right, you two, get down from there. No peeking till it's finished. <laughs> Boy, do you look stupid. Well, I may be stupid, but I know what I want for Christmas. A chicken. But, 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 but. All right, come and look. You finished trimming the tree? Hooray! That means we get to open up a present, right? Huh? <gasps> Isn't it beautiful, Fritz? I think it's kind of tacky looking, but I like the look of those presents. Wow! A chicken, just what I always wanted. I'm going to call him Lightning. Come on, Lightning, giddy up, boy. But, Mother, where's my present? Don't I get one? Oh, dear, I had no idea you wanted a chicken, Clara. Clara's attention was drawn toward a mysterious figure in the window, and into the house stepped the notorious one-eyed pirate, Long John... Oh, sorry, I did it again. Happy Christmas, Clara. This is for you. Hi, Uncle Drosselmeyer. I guess you've never heard of knocking? It's not another magic toad, is it? Something even better. It's not that I don't appreciate your gifts, it's just that sometimes they get a little weird. But, 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 <gasps> He's a nutcracker. You see, you put a walnut in his mouth and presto, change him. <laughs> a nutcracker, just what I've always wanted. I'm happy that you like it, Clara. Oh, sure. It's much better than a new party dress or a bicycle. <laughs> I mean, who wouldn't want a soldier that cracks nuts in his mouth? Huh? <laughs> if he's a soldier, how come he doesn't have a sword? Tell me that! He's non-violent. Maybe he's a pacifist. You're just jealous, Fritz. Jealous? When I got my own chicken, this is the best Halloween ever. Yeah, giddy up, Lightning. Later that day, night fell. Clara, what's your light doing on? It's hours past your bedtime. What are you still doing up? Clara? You know, I'm actually starting to like this little guy. Kind of messy, though. Well, you've messed your bed. Now you're going to have to lie in it. Good night. Good night, Mother. <sighs> this story is a little dull so far, isn't it? Anyway, the hours passed, as they tend to do, and soon it was midnight. The witching hour. The hour of mystery when strange things often happen, but probably not in this story. <laughs> uh, oh, 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 looks like I spoke too soon. I forgot that midnight's the hour when toys often come to life and when weird things sometimes appear inside of clocks. Is the coast clear? I don't know. I can't see the coast from here. Oh, idiots! It was the king of the rats. Mice! King of mice! Get it right, will you? Aha, there he is. Well, what are we waiting for, gentlemen? Geronimo, the pinball! Shh, we're trying to sneak up on him. Huh? Oh, oh, oh. I thought I felt something. Huh? Something funny's happening to the clock. Indeed, something was happening, but it wasn't funny at all. Suddenly, Clara felt gripped by an unseen power, a power she could not explain. Oh, something I ate! Oh. All at once, the poor girl found herself trapped in a living nightmare. Gee, what a depressing place. Hmm. Must have been the Brussels sprouts we had for dinner. I thought they tasted funny. 
touch of his hand, the brave little nutcracker brought the cannon and its gunner magically to life. Wow! You'd be great at a party! I come, my oh, car, Got him! Right in the bread basket! Drat! Huh? <laughs> Did you really think that would stop me? Uh, we thought it might, yeah. What? Whoa, what's the big idea? What am I supposed to do with this? Try throwing it at him. <laughs> Clara? Clara? What in the world? Hmm? Mother! Oh, it was awful. He had big claws and pointy teeth. Oh, you've just had some bad Brussels sprouts. Now get your nutcracker and climb right back into bed. Oh, poor Nutty. You must believe me, Mother. I'm not making it up. <laughs> I'd say this comes from watching too much TV, even though it hasn't been invented yet. <sighs> now be a good girl, and I'll make you some catfish pancakes in the morning. Great. Hours later, the sun came up and it was Christmas, which often happens when the night before is Christmas Eve. Come on, Lightning, let's round up those chicken rustlers. Yeah, but, but, but. Hey, crack me a nut. You know how it is. Sometimes you feel like a nut, sometimes you don't. No, he's not up to it. Poor little Nutty's had a rough night. He's suffering from severe structural damage. Clara. Huh? Clara, huh? come to me. Oh, Clara's going crazy. Clara's going crazy. Clara, come here. I'm on my way. Huh? Gee, maybe she really is going crazy. Listen carefully, my child. That gift I gave you was far more than a nutcracker. The man you hold in your hand is a flesh and blood prince. A prince of the dream world. Huh? A wicked spell transformed him into his present state. A spell cast on him by his fiendish arch enemy, the King of Mice. Oh, come on! Uncle Z, do you like cold cuts? Because this sounds like a bunch of baloney. I'm not sure what you just said, but what I'm telling you is true. The King of Mice wants to gain control of the dream world. So we turned him into a wooden man. Well, how come you can't get him to turn back again? That's where you come in. Huh? Only someone like you can possibly save the prince, Clara. Someone who is young and pure of heart. You see this strange-looking walnut? That's the king's doing. He's dumping hazardous waste all over the dream world. He must be stopped, Clara, now, before it's too late. Hey, Clara! Fritz, can't you see I'm busy? Don't you want to come down and say goodbye to Uncle D? Better hurry up, he's leaving. Huh? Wait a minute. Uncle Dee's right. Thank you so much for coming. Huh? How did he get down there? It's always an honor having you track mud into our house. Believe me, the honor is all mine. You bet it is. Clara, don't forget what we talked about. I suggest looking at that grandfather clock in the attic. You might find something in it that will help you. Wait, Uncle, don't go! He wants me to go in that spooky attic alone. I feel like I'm in an episode of Friday the 13th. Well, 
Oh, I want to be scared. That's right. You're too stupid to be scared, aren't you? What would you give me if I agreed to go with you? I'll give you my hidden treasure. Wow, a jar of stale cookies. My favorite thing in the whole world. If you go with me, they're all yours. All of them? You're kidding. Jeepers, you've got a deal. Let's get going. And so they made their way towards the attic. There, you first. It's awfully dark. Aw, oh, heck, what's there to be scared of? It's just an attic. Come on, climb on up. I'll be right behind you. <sighs> Do you really think it's safe, Fritz? Fritz? That little skunk ran off and left me. I guess he's not quite as stupid as I thought. <gasps> Realizing that she wasn't going to get anywhere standing in one spot, she searched the huh? attic until... <gasps> Bingo, that must be it! And it's still ticking. No, they just don't make them like they used to. Now, what did he say? I'd find something in it that would help me. Hmm. Huh? <sighs> Boy, this is easier than I thought. It's all grungy and disgusting. <laughs> ah, there, that's better. Now let's see. Props, you got a scrub brush or something? Oh, that's perfect. Thanks. Maddie, I'm gonna make this sort of yours so pretty and shiny that your enemies will be able to see their reflections before you skewer them. <laughs> Clara rubbed and rubbed, polishing the ancient sword for hours until at last darkness fell, much as it had done the night before. Clara? Clara, where are you? Are you up here? Oh, Clara, why are you lying in a lump like that? Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, there's cobwebs all over your hair. That's right, Nutty. Skewer them with your pretty sword. Chop up their heads. The happy dreams of youth, how sweet and innocent they are. Come on, dear. Time for a nice hot mug of prune juice with fish heads in it. Meanwhile, the mysterious sword had been left in the attic. What would this mean? Would it spell disaster for Clara? Or would it try to spell a more difficult word, like Rutabaga or Saskatchewan? But the answers to those questions would have to wait. For now, the witching hour was approaching once again. That dreaded ghostly hour when the notorious one-eyed cannibal pirate Long John Silver would sit down to a midnight snack of boiled castaway. Oops, I'm in the wrong story again. Oh my gosh, what happened to Nutty? He's disappeared. Oh, Nutty, where are you? Wait a second, what's going on here? Why am I floating in midair? Uh-oh, the clock's going wacky again. I'm going to have to talk to Mother about our diet. Oh, not again. What have I done to deserve this? Ah, wait. Got to get that sword. Not so fast. This is my nightmare, and I'm not ready to go yet. I can do with a cup of Ovaltine. But no time now, gotta run. With the agility of a monkey, the young Jim Hawkins climbed to the rigging of the pirate ship as Long John Sil... Oh, sorry, sorry, won't happen again. Hey, I left it right here. Where did it go? What happened to it? Props, where's the stupid sword, huh? Huh? must thank you for finding this sword. I've been looking everywhere for it. Haven't I, Nutcracker? Double Drat, he spotted me. We are going to smash you into split down. Stomp you into sawdust. Pound you into pulp. Pulverize you into pickled herring. Pickled herring? Shut up and take care of him. If I don't happen to get out of this alive, always remember, Clara, that I loved you. Ooh, so it's love, is it? You have been a naughty pine, haven't you? I'm almost sorry that I have to do this. <laughs> hey, he's not the bad dancer. No, no, stop it. You're going to hurt him. 
<gasps> no biting this time. Let her go! Bold words for someone who's going to be nothing but a pile of smoldering kindling in a few moments. What's that supposed to be? Ah, my eyes! My eyes! Catch, Nutty! Take that! And that! You did it, Nutty! And I only had to help you a little. Look, the king is transforming! Changing back to his true state! Which one, New Jersey? Ooh, ooh, I bet he has trouble getting dates. No wonder he's so grumpy. The creature is so full of evil schemes that one head is not enough to keep track of all of them. Hmm? Our heroes suddenly found themselves surrounded by a horde of beady-eyed baddies. Drut and drut again! Nutty, you wouldn't happen to have a piece of the cheese on you? You look kind of hungry. Hey, listen, fellas, my mother's got some old mozzarella sitting around in the kitchen. Why don't I go get it? You're not going anywhere, uh, you silly uh, little girl. What are you waiting for, dummy? What are you up to? Well, I must admit, the view is better from up here. The store! Maybe it can help us get rid of these guys. It might have done. Grab a hold. I'm not much at casting magic spells, but I have seen a lot of reruns of Bewitched. So here goes nothing. <laughs> Ew, it looks like the wallpaper in my Aunt Pinky's downstairs bathroom. <laughs> Did you ever stop and think that I might have allergies, you little brat? Are you allergic to a steel blade as well? Well, I'm not crazy about it, no. Keep your chin up, Nutty. One of these days you'll do something, right? Hmm, let's see now. <laughs> Bombs away! <laughs> Okay, I set him up for you, Natty. Finish him off! Now, at last! My steel blade shall strike deep, for vengeance is mine! And so, in a moment of violence too graphic to depict in any detail in a family program, the evil king is destroyed. Oh, rats! I mean, my! Holy wicked witch of the West, he melted! They'll never believe me at school when I tell them what I did on my Christmas vacation. Would you do the honor of crowning me, Clara? Well, if you're sure. It might look kind of silly. <gasps> oh, oh my! Whoa, Nutty, are you okay? What's happening to you? <laughs> Hello, Clara. Nutty, you're a prince! And I didn't even have to kiss you or any of that stuff! Actually, my darling, I'd rather you stopped calling me Nutty. It's a little undignified. My real name is Bongo, Prince Bongo. Oh. Would you like to visit my kingdom with me? The kingdom of Dream World? Sure, but I've got to be back in time for breakfast or my mother will have a fit. Look! The clock's breaking out again! I hope you're not afraid of flying. No, I love it. Do we get a movie? Uh, no. Some mixed knots, at least? Clara clearly had the wrong idea about what sort of flight this was. This wasn't some commuter run. It was a flight of fancy to the farthest reaches of the imagination. And while sometimes the turbulence got bad enough to make her wish she'd brought along an air sickness bag, Clara was wide-eyed with wonder as they began their final approach and at last set down in the magical kingdom of Dream World. I guess you guys play a lot of poker around here, huh? Clara was enchanted by everything she saw. She was enchanted by the prince's castle. She was enchanted by the royal ball held in her honor. And she was even more enchanted to find all her favorite storybook characters there in attendance. There were Sloppy and Drippy the house painting gorillas, Sherman the shepherd and his battering ram, and of course, Daisy the dancing milkmaid. I've never heard of any of them, but apparently they were favorites of hers. There's only one problem. I feel like a dope stuck here in my PJs. No problem. Watch. Wow! A new party dress! Just what I wanted! Barbie, eat your heart out! <laughs> but all dreams, even the most enchanting ones, must eventually come to an end. <sighs> Oh, 
Clara. Huh? Good day, my child. Are you well this morning? Well, I may be going insane, but otherwise I'm fine, Uncle D. Huh? I'd like to introduce you to someone, Clara. Oh, boy! I'm out of here! Clara, what on earth? Where do you think you're going? The nearest looting bin, Mother! I think I finally got off my rocker! Huh? Did someone give you a rocker for Christmas? What's the matter, Clara? You look rather strange. It's been a weird couple of days. Why are you staring so? Does this young man look familiar to you? Sure does. Well, I'm not surprised, Clara. Allow me to introduce my grandson, Bongo. Thanks for the use of the handkerchief, Clara. My arm's better now. Oh, I'm glad my medical training came in handy. <laughs> and what makes you think that I'm not a prince, you pretty little vixen, you? Huh? Come with me, Clara. There's a place I want to show you. Ready? Wait a minute. What's a vixen? Come on! Okay, but where are we going? To a place where only children can go, Clara. A land of laughter and games and happiness and love. But I have... So it was real after all. And who's to say that a child's dreams aren't real? Of course, this was a long time ago. The kingdom is now an amusement park and the prince's castle is a hotel. But you can still visit the royal penthouse where Clara and Bongo lived happily ever after. Just go to the front desk and ask for the Nutcracker Suite. <laughs>